observing the southern defenses. But that's all beside the point. Because the real problem was those treatment centers. They failed. Everybody died. The patients, the doctors, the nurses. The poor sons of bitches dumping bodies into the mass graves they had to dig in Central Park. Everyone. People dying on the inside, people shooting at us on the outside. When they finally told us to pull out, it was a blessing. Except now, all that's behind barbed wire. Yeah. That's where your dark zone came from. And the things I've seen, I don't care how much you're offering. I'm never going back in. Early days, there was talk of hooking up with that PMC someone paid to guard their offices on Wall Street. Last man battalion, they were called. <sighs> Complete bunch of shitheads. If they played ball, maybe things wouldn't have gone so bad. But their CO, this bliss asshole, he decides they're not working with nobody. So suddenly we got a war going with those guys while the disease is out of control. Not enough we got a superbug trying to kill us. Goddamn Merck's gotta try it too. Who are these people? According to Directive 51, they're sleeper agents recruited from the civilian population to be activated only when the shit well and truly hits the fan. Which, if you ask me, describes things pretty good. They're not military, they're not SEALs, they're not secret agents. They're people, coming from the people to help the people. They've been trained to maintain order and public safety in domestic environments under extreme circumstances so people like us are able to do what we do best. Serving the southern defenses. Hi, Rick. It's Charles. I got your message regarding the situation in New York, and I think you're absolutely right. Things are going to get out of hand faster than the government realizes. They're going to lose control before they've even signed the deployment orders. You ask me, the only thing that's going to work is to impose absolute authority on the population. People are scared and angry, and that's when they'll act stupid and risk the lives of others. I've seen it too many times. Now, you want to shut those instincts down and enforce zero tolerance. Anything beyond that is not going to produce results. And in the long run, that will cost you a lot more than hiring my people. How do I say this quickly? Hello, representative. Heads up. Two o'clock, standing on the roof by the billboard. Yeah, I see. Single target. Looks like the mustache could use a trim. 
Target 0 0.26 miles high. Angle 0. Yeah. That'll put you at 1,220 meters. That's Darby's record plus 60. And Darby's about to eat it. What's my dial? Dial 18 mils, one click. Wind? 9 o'clock, 3 miles per hour. Dial left, 1.2 mils. All right. Package waiting. Send it. Jesus! You see Darby tell him to get his ass back to target practice? New Queen just got crowned. Okay. Okay. First of all, I owe myself an apology. Emotional outbursts are unacceptable. Certainly unprofessional. No matter how provoked. So, I apologize. I forgive myself. I move forward. Good. Now the question of the moment. This... this betrayal. This changes things. Things have changed. This is clear. We have been lied to. We are sent to do a job. Things get tough. Suddenly, we're not allowed to do it. Rules are broken. Values discarded. A city abandoned. This is the truth. This is reality. The man behind the curtain. I have to tell the others. Active Echo Beacon detected. What happened on that rooftop? What you did, it... It's impossible. I know. It changes everything. I know. What are you gonna do? I don't know. We'll see.